worth it. I feel bad for sitting, but watch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. I know it's, it's early and it's Sunday and you're still here. Woo! So who's got the first question? I'm with my team. I know they have mics, but I just figured. <laughs> question. Um, and I've been thinking about this a fair amount lately, just because for me anyway, what I've noticed is, is the fandom for Firefly in particular seems to be growing. Like, I, I don't know if you guys are all just having babies and having you know, babies to watch the show. You know, I get people saying to me, oh, I grew up watching Firefly, and I'm like, oh my god, I am old. <laughs> um, but things have changed so much in this industry, in terms of the way people view television. Um, what I mean is, people are, are, are seeing things on demand now. Um, they're either recording programs, or they're watching things on Apple TV, or Hulu. So, the Nielsen rating system, in my opinion, is more antiquated than it's ever been. And I think it was antiquated back then. I don't think it's ever really been necessarily accurate as to who's actually watching television programs. So for us, it was really frustrating because we were under the impression no one was watching the show because of the Nielsen rating numbers. But then we all went to our first convention and realized that was not true. <laughs> all kinds of people were watching. So I think nowadays things might be very different in, in terms of how they would calculate the popularity of the show. So I, I do think it was before its time. And I think the same of, of the movie as well, of Serenity. I think it, it, it was before its time also, because when the movie opened, we actually, comparable today, to today, had quite a, a, a good box office draw. We had a really nice opening weekend. But back then, because way more people were actually going to the theater to see movies, it was, it was a smaller number on average than all the other movies opening up on their opening weekends. So it's, it's funny things have changed, and, and it's unfortunate that we haven't, that we didn't, you know, see the light of day in this kind of time period in the industry. Boo. <laughs> Right here in the front. 
Okay. <laughs> Usually raise our hands the same time. Um, first of all, I loved your character for the fact that she was a woman, mm. and she very much had that um, as one of her main assets, but she was also a badass and a mechanic. I just thought it was great. Thank um, you for saying badass. Well, no ever calls Kaylee a badass. Well, they were talking about Kaylee. Yeah, they were they were watching the show because I thought she was cool. Oh, and see. Um, did you get to keep the dress? No. Oh. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> Mostly, you are not allowed to keep anything when you leave a set. They they keep stuff for it for several reasons, just in case the show ever comes back and they need those things. Or for charity auctions. Um, memorabilia places, you know, things like that. So we hardly ever get to keep anything. I didn't want it anyway. I didn't. I love how shocked you are. That just was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. You couldn't, you couldn't pee in it. It was, it took forever to get on. It was insanely uncomfortable. I loved it for five whole minutes because it was different from everything else that I, I had to wear for the show. So I was really excited. And then I, I lived in it for like half an hour and was like, oh my god, this is this is horrible. Well, they decided like, to give it away, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> I think someone bought it actually. It's somewhere in the world. <laughs> I know that. I think one right in the middle, right there. Bad Anna. <laughs> I, I agree that it is bad. <laughs> 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 I really like this. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this with me. Referring to it. A lot of the fans make fan fiction now. If you were able to make your own, who would Kaylee hook up with on this show? Oh, <laughs> come on! You know exactly who. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking of like who I have to choose from, and it's Slim Pickens. <laughs> <laughs> the thought of, of ever having to make out with Nathan makes me want to vomit. <laughs> He's like my brother. Um, Alan, same thing. Adam is more like my dad, so no. <laughs> and Ron, that's just weird. Um, I don't know. Who would I, I think the, the only fan fiction that I've, I haven't been entirely grossed out by is probably the Kaylee and Nara. And Wash and Kaylee? See, that's weird to me. Uh, and, you know, like a brother sister sort of thing going on. She was like everybody's little sister. So it's, it's, it's tough for me to think about that. Also, I know about all that fan fiction stuff. I've come across it over the years. It's, it's gross. It's gross. It's yeah. So weird. So many combinations. <laughs> Uh, first off, uh, Jordan, I'm like Haley so beautifully. You're amazing, you're awesome. 
is Firefly ever going to come back? Please say yes. I had a nickel. I don't know. I mean, I will say this. There are crazier things that have happened in this industry. Um, so I would say never say never. I know for a fact that the rest of the cast would love to do it. We all love each other a lot. I'm a little tired today because I was out with them last night. Um, we had a little party at Nathan's house. Um, so I'm a bit tired. Uh, but we all love each other a lot. And I, I'm, I know Nathan in particular would jump at the chance to do the show again. He's, he's a bigger Firefly fan than all of you. <laughs> I think I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Every time I go to his house, the, the memorabilia from Firefly seems to grow. <laughs> like yesterday in one of his guest rooms, he had a little Malcolm Reynolds uh, throw pillows. <laughs> Down for sure. It'll be fun. Oh. Fun to do. do it. You with your hand up right back there? Yeah. Oh, I like your shirts. <laughs> Love it. Hi, Joel. So, um, any other week night here obviously knows that Joss likes to reuse actors consistently. Um, since you were in Serenity and Firefly, have you ever been approached by Joss to be in a future project or? Is there anything he has to work so you're trying to get your name into? Oh, maybe. Age of Ultron? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the, the thing is, I would love to work with him, obviously, because um, he's very talented and great at what he does. But he's my friend. He's my good friend. And I would never jeopardize my friendship with him by asking him for a job. Do you know what I mean? So, I... I I want him to know that I respect our friendship much more than I ever would um, the chance to possibly work together again. Um, friendship comes first for me. But um, yeah, we love to. And, and I saw him last night, and, and you know, we may have had a, a vodka or two, and going off about how much we miss each other. So uh, you, never, you never know. You never know. We're good pals, so we'll see. Friends like to work with friends, right? So, yeah. You know the next question is going to be, what superhero do you want to play? Uh, any of them. <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do, I, do I have to be specific? Any and all. <laughs> you were there with a hat? Yeah, because yeah, you had your hand up before, and I feel bad because you didn't get to ask your question. And you have a beard. Yes, I do. And your lady. Yes. Yay! <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, God, Did you keep good. anything from Firefly from the set? Um, I got to keep a couple of things, but I don't know, I kind of wish, because Nathan has all of this stuff because he stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish that, I'm serious, I kind of wish that I had that in me, because when the show was cancelled, um, he showed up on the set on our last day with a box, and he just started taking things off the wall. Yes. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, what are you doing? And, and he's like, what are they going to do? <laughs> um, and then when we did the movie, they rebuilt the entire set. Well, brand new set. It was so beautiful. And he did the same thing. Taking <laughs> <laughs> stuff. So I just wish I had been gutsier. Because now, all these years later, I wish I had more stuff. Um, I could steal it from his house. <laughs> yeah, last night, I had it in my hand. I didn't do it. Not ballsy enough. Um, I got to keep the, the Kaylee's room door sign. That always gets it on. <laughs> and, I, and I got to keep the hammock from the engine room. Nice. Uh, but, you know, I'm too nice. And people ask me for things for charity auctions. And I gave them away. And I, yeah, I'm sad about that. I, I wish I had kept some stuff. Oh, well. <laughs> You're on the torn stress right there. We have a torn stress. Uh, hello, I'm going to reach back a little further in your history. Here we go. Uh, last year, um, they had a PPP reunion, and in two years, it's going to be 20 years since uh, Black Forward. <laughs> Would you be interested in getting back together with those guys? Oh, sure. And having a time in con. Sure, why not? I haven't seen those guys in forever. However, I do think a space 
space cases reunion, we go over a little bit better. People love space cases. I don't want to honor very long when it came out of their their flash my life. So I was like, oh. Yeah, I, I get that a fair amount still. And it's usually from people that don't know where they know me from. <laughs> and they because they grew up watching me, they they will say things like, Did we go to school together? <laughs> or Did you used to babysit me? I don't know. I feel like I know you. And I'm like, I don't know. I mean I don't want to be that, you know, dirt actor that's like, I was on the TV show. Um, so I usually don't say anything, and it's this really awkward moment, and it happens all the time. <laughs> Serious, like maybe once a day sometimes. Next question. Richard, back Hi. Um, I was always curious as to what the cast, yourself included, speculated on the future of where the show would go in. Like, if you guys had the party last night, if you guys were talking to each other, like, Here's where my character would go, or here's what my character would do. Um, what adventures do you guys come up with in your heads? Uh, I mean, my my big fantasy was obviously getting together with Simon. You know, I thought that that should have happened, and Sean felt the same way. We always uh, and Gina Gina talked about this a lot too. We always wanted there to be a baby on the show. Someone needed to have a baby to raise the stakes a little higher and soften them out a little bit. Um, so I would say that definitely. I know Alan has all kinds of, of things that he's actually written <laughs> and like pitched to Joss at one point or another about Wash's crazy backstory. Alan is very creative. He's a very creative individual. Um, his stories don't make any sense. <laughs> but yeah, he, he's definitely the one that's speculated the most. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I would love to tell you that we all stand around and talk about where our characters would be now. But here's the here's the funny thing about that show is that you guys all miss it, and I get that. But we we don't have a whole lot to miss because we still see each other and we still have each other as friends. You know what I mean? Um, so it's interesting for us to 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 see you guys associate a sadness with the show. When we, we don't have a whole lot to be sad about. If anything, we're super grateful because we get to come to these things. I've traveled the world because of that show, and, and I get to come to these conventions all over the world. It's amazing. Um, and I still get to see my friends. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a little different for us. So we just stand around and talk about the life stuff. Everybody's having babies now. It's like crazy. We're all so old. <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> All the way in the back of there in gray sweatshirt. Uh, what was your favorite episode of Firefly film? Film? I would say, uh, weirdly, uh, the last episode. Um, because we all found out we were canceled and the pressure of wondering what was going to happen to us was over. Um, we all knew we were the underdog from the very beginning. And um, chances were that we were going to be canceled at some point. So we all knew it was coming, and it was this weird relief to finally hear that, that that's what was happening. So we all just kind of went, you know what? Let's soak this up and enjoy this as much as possible. Um, and that was the message. So I remember having the most fun on that one, weirdly. So we have time for two more questions. Right over there? Yep. Hi, Joel. Hi. Big space cases, man. Awesome. Yes, really wanted the wig when I was a kid. <laughs> Who did want that wig? Exactly. I wanted that wig. <laughs> that wig was amazing. So you were just talking about how you hang out with Lynn Billy and all that. You guys talked about where would your characters be. So in your mind, where would um, Danny be in after our Oh, home? she'd just have, you know, a bunch of babies. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a proper spaniel or two. <laughs> she'd be all domesticated. <laughs> Um, you know, in my mind, of course, it's always a happily ever after, right? But in Joss Whedon's mind, he likes to kill people. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd probably all be dead by now. <laughs> right, right in the front here? Yes, you get to make up. That's awesome. Yes, yeah. The mic coming for you. Slowly, but surely. Here comes. Right in there. <laughs> For Firefly, who was your favorite actor or actress who did the role with? I can't 
I can't. <laughs> I need to add another question because I cannot answer that. They're, they're, we're so close and really good friends, and I get something out of every one of those people, something different and special. Um, so it's, it's really tough for me to say. The, the two that I'm, I'm closest with, I guess, or talk to the most are, are Nathan and Sean. Um, Sean is, is one of my best pals. I love him. Um, but yeah, we, we all genuinely had a good time. And that's, that's not something that you usually say when you have that big of a cast working together. Everybody got along that well, but we all went on a date. We'll get that last one in right there. I feel bad. I'm such a lame answer. Hi, hello. Hi. Um, so can we go back to Kaylee being a badass for a second? Yeah, okay, yes. <laughs> uh, so I think the reason that that comes about for more, more people is because Serenity had a male mechanic. and yeah, he uh, sucked. Right. <laughs> and Kaylee stole his job. So that's kind of why she's, one of the reasons she's a badass, because she did a job better than a man can do a job. <laughs> Yeah. Just want to throw that out. Sure did. Yes. That was it? That wasn't even a question. We need one more. <laughs> you guys are just trying to like keep me here. Um, I feel great about it. What do you mean? <laughs> Haley's biggest weapon was her brain and her charm. Yeah. Alright, she said one more and I see that you have a follow up there. Yeah. <laughs> and this one you guys have a good to get our Nathan Williams house. Can you be a minute? Shhh! Oh, would you guess? love that? <laughs> Wouldn't you love that? Um, I have to catch playing. Um, thank you so much for coming. I had so much fun with you guys. You're always so nice.